to the painted area, either off the bounce or when he's posting up. Shireman on the drive, using that window against Jamil Telford. Shireman with his first two. He's so good. He's trying to get their post going here. Colt Brenner 0 for 2 to start this game. One of those that long three. Here's Shireman on the baseline. Splashes down the goal for Butler. And up the floor quickly to Shireman. Three in transition. And Shireman, seven. Butler, five. And Colt Brenner with the takeaway. Farabello ahead to Shireman, runs it up and in, and Baylor Shireman already with nine. Jays looking for their first lead since it was 11 to 10. Inside, it's two more, and Baylor Shireman transfer over a thousand points in his three years there. Here's Shireman around the screen, gets the three to fall. Baylor Shireman with 14 position, pinballs out. Trey Alexander with a rebound, leaving for Shireman. Long shots lead to long rebounds. He's got to avoid that fourth foul. Yeah. Still 11.20 to go. They go right into call for it. Working against Thomas. Got terrific oh, position. Oh, Half per game. Yeah. The leading scorer for Butler. Only two points. Shireman just passes Brooks. Drives inside for two more. Oh, Shireman's been outstanding. Yes. 20 in the left corner. Maybe that'll spark this Butler offense. And a good stop. Shireman. Right inside to the team of that defense. You can see the frustration from Jalen Thomas. Yeah, they're setting up to 22 in the second half, holding Butler to 36% shooting. Shireman, acrobatic, 20. A triple-double in your last game, and you come on the road, and you have 16 in the second half. What's working so well for you? Uh, just my teammates finding me in my spots to get open shots. You know, um, we're a very unselfish team, and that's what we pride ourselves on. And, you know, any given night, it can be anybody. And, you know, tonight, my teammates did a great job of finding me. Call Brenner set great flare screens for me to get some open shots. So it was really a whole team effort. And, uh, Greg, we talked about this a little bit earlier. We're a month from Selection Sunday. What's the next step for this group? One step at a time. That's what I've been talking. You know, we started with the Georgetown game and really talked about the value of these next seven games and you know we're, we're playing a, a team like Butler that's trying to get in the NCAA tournament and position themselves so you're going to be you're going to get their best shot you're going to play in front of a great environment and you know now we go we go home to the number one team on the country on Tuesday. <laughs> Baylor final question for you how how important is it to have a guy like Ryan Kalkbrenner who can just patrol the lane the way that he does? Yeah I mean it means everything to our defense and offense honestly having a guy back there you know it takes a lot of pressure off us guarding the ball knowing that if we do mess up we got him back there to, to you know clean us up. Did you know he was going to challenge you as your best three-point shooter now? <laughs> yeah, I, I, he was working on it. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Congratulations. Man.